Hey everyone, I'm Joshua Oro, the Mustang Prince, and welcome to Mustang Prince Oro Reports. You know, for some time now, I realized that there are a few other fairy tale films out there that share a lot in common with Shrek. For example, they have romantic stories, they include a character who's under a curse, and a main character who falls in love with a monster, and so on and so forth. And the movie that I decided to vlog today is a Russian animated fairy tale film that just got released to DVD back in April. But is it any good? Well, let's take a look and find out. Released to DVD in the United States on April 12th, 2022, the movie is My Sweet Monster. Now, on for the plot of the movie. King Elijah is unable to believe the fact that his beloved child, Princess Barbara, is all grown up. He still tries to watch over the princess, but the 16-year-old Barbara throws a tantrum at her birthday party. While everyone is distracted, the throne is seized by a sneaky post-clerk weasel named Bundy Joyce. However, unsatisfied with being the sole ruler of the kingdom, he also plans to marry Barbara which leaves her no choice but to run away deep into the woods, where she bumps into an outlaw monster named Bogey and his friend, the Wicked Rabbit. To get rid of Barbara, Bogey decides to go as far as to help Barbara find the Prince Edward, stop the weasel, and restore order back to the kingdom. So, what are my personal thoughts on the movie? Well, to be perfectly honest, the story was a bit cliched and some parts were predictable. But still, I thought it was a pretty decent animated film. And to further explain why I think so, let's move on to Mustang Notes. Now, since there's not a lot of trivia to talk about, let's just move on to the animation. And in my opinion, the Russian CGI animation is pretty good even though some movements are kind of stiff at times, but at the same time, it kind of makes me think of N-Wave style. Also, I kind of find it interesting that this movie includes robots, which is pretty modern for a fairy tale related movie. But then again, Castle in the Sky is also a fantasy film that includes steampunk technology and robotics. Another thing that I found interesting in this movie is the Enchanted Water, which is said to give life to not only the robots, but to all inanimate objects. But, the water can also be very dangerous if it ever went into the wrong hands. And of course, Mother Nature would be really furious if it ever did. As for the rest of the story, well, for the most part, I feel it as though it has been done before. Many times. Think about it. The story is about a teenage princess who has a headstrong and high-spirited personality, is in love with a storybook hero, defies her overprotective and strict father, runs away from home when things don't go her way, she gets taken captive by a forest monster whom captures her heart, and later learns a shocking truth. However, aside from all that, I will give this film credit for having a few comedic moments like this running gag involving a beaver who has his house constantly destroyed a few times. Also, I should mention that this film is pretty much a musical. Unfortunately, I'm not going to talk about the songs because to me, they're kind of a mixed bag in my opinion. And if you watch the movie for yourselves, then you'll know what I mean. Anyway, that's all I got from Mustang Notes. So let's move on to the characters and the voice actors who brought them to life. Our main protagonist, Princess Barbara, is voiced by Haley Duff, who got to perform with her sister Hillary in Material Girl and In Search of Santa. Now, Barbara is a 16-year-old princess who has a rebellious, headstrong, and a spirited personality. And while we all have seen that before with other animated princesses, I think Barbara pulls it off pretty well. Plus, Barbara is determined to find help in order to save her kingdom from a power-hungry weasel and to prove her father that she's not just a little girl anymore. Also, I thought the part where Barbara cuts her hair, shortens her dress, and walks into the Grey Hall barefoot was really gutsy and outrageous. Also, I think Barbara's light bulb companion, Bulby, is pretty cute. 
Next we have Bogey, the titular monster of the movie, voiced by Napoleon Dynamite himself, John Hader, whom I remember for voicing Chicken Joe from the Surf's Up movies and for playing Roy Disney in Walt Before Mickey. This character considers himself as the guardian of the forest who scares people away so they don't defile said forest and for taking any item that they leave behind. At first, when he meets Barbara, he just wants to get rid of her, but things start to change after Barbara saves him from a waterfall. To me, Bogey is a pretty cool, strong, and shy character, which could explain why he's not much of a talker. Also, Bogey is loyal to Mother Nature. Plus, I think he has a heart of gold, and I find it very sweet that he considers Barbara as his speckle. Also to note, I thought Bogey's backstory was very shocking, and the part where he was willing to sacrifice his own life for Barbara was very brave and tear-jerking. Next we have Bogey's faithful companion, Rabbit, voiced by Josh Wilson. In my eyes, Rabbit is kind of despicable, but a pretty funny guy. Plus, he too has a surprising backstory, which made me feel sympathy for him after learning that his ability to talk sadly made his family frightened of him. Also, I like that Bogey considers Rabbit as his brother. Finally, we come to the movie's main villain, Bundy Joyce, voiced by Polly Shore, whom I remember from the Goofy movies, the Casper sequels, and the recent animated atrocity, Pinocchio, A True Story. To me, Shore's performance as Joyce makes him very deceitful, arrogant, power-hungry, and above all, a real weasel. Plus, he's a disgrace to the Postal Service. Joyce's evil plan is to become Barbara's unquestioned husband so that he can overthrow King Elijah. But after Barbara runs away, Joyce builds a mechanical army to kill Bogey, and he also plans to drain all the water from the mystical lake so that he can become so powerful that he can conquer the world. And now let's move on to my final words. Overall, My Sweet Monster is a pretty decent animated fairy tale film. Not the greatest, but still pretty decent. The Russian CGI animation is pretty good. The songs are okay. The story, while done before, is very charming and fun. The main character, Barbara, is a princess whom I can definitely root for. Bogey is a tough, strong, and noble beast. And Bundy Joyce, while silly, is a real arrogant jerk. To me, I think this is an animated fairy tale film that you should definitely check out and share with your children. As for my rating, well, I'll give it a 72% out of 100. Well, that's all for now. Be sure to join me for my next blog, Mustang Power. Thank you.